how's it going? So if you can't tell by my dapper outfit or by the title of this video, today I am doing the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride. And that ride, if you're not familiar, it's a charity ride held around the world in over 100 countries and I believe like over 700 cities today. And I live in Las Vegas, so I'll be doing the Las Vegas ride. And I am just tired right now because also Las Vegas this weekend is EDC. That's Electric Daisy Carnival. It's a three night uh, EDM music festival. And I have friends in town this weekend for it. And it's the second night and we didn't get in until like 6 a.m. this morning. So uh, it's about 9.30 right now and I am just exhausted. So we'll see how this ride goes, but um, I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna wear an open face helmet today, so I'm not gonna have a GoPro or microphone on me. I'll just be doing a single uh, 360 camera on the front of the bike just to kind of capture the event and what it's like. And uh, so I'll just do a voiceover and talk about the ride and just kind of give you an idea of what it is and what it's like for the ride in Vegas. All right, let's get going. So the meetup location for this year's Las Vegas ride was at Eurocycle. This is actually the place where I bought my Royal Enfield. After checking in, getting some ride instructions, we headed out for the first stage of the ride. The event is primarily for classic, vintage, and cafe racer style motorcycles, but since it is a charity, many locations open up the ride for anyone that wants to participate. We arrived at Tivoli Village, our first stop, and did a little parade loop around the plaza. So the first stop was at a restaurant in the village. It was a chance for us to get together, mingle a bit, meet the other riders, and have a little bit of lunch. But I have to admit, the main reason why I wanted to do this event was to see if there were any other Royal Enfield riders in Las Vegas that were going to show up. And you can see my Continental here, and parked right next to me is an Interceptor. But Royal Enfield is just not very well known or popular here in the US. I've only seen one other Royal Enfield out in the wild. Uh, down here we see another interceptor, but I believe we were the only three in this ride. So now we're just finishing up lunch and we'll then head over to the strip to continue the ride heading south on Las Vegas Boulevard to the Welcome to Las Vegas sign. After a blazing hot ride down the Las Vegas Strip, we arrived at the welcome sign. We hung out for a bit, took a few photos, 
and then some of the group continued on to another location for more food and drink. But myself, not having slept in a day and a half, I was ready for a nap. This was the end of the ride for me. Overall, it was a good time, and maybe I will see you there next year.